Medical marijuana may not be a cure-all, but it could bring relief to thousands of Mississippians suffering from diseases that cause chronic pain. I've really noticed since I've been medicating uh, just with this medicinal cannabis in Mississippi, that, I mean, my life quality has really, really improved. People who suffer from more than two dozen qualifying conditions now have access to the state's new medical cannabis program. I'm, I'm grateful to the legislature for getting this, you know, up and going and available to us patients. But some patients are having a hard time finding help. As of the end of uh, January, we had over 10,000 patients searching our website for information about medical cannabis cards, practitioners, and dispensaries. Angie Calhoun heads the Mississippi Cannabis Patients Alliance. According to Calhoun, there are over 100 practitioners across the state now registered. Calhoun says it's not easy for patients to find one of those practitioners. What we need is our practitioners to really promote themselves because most of our patients think that any practitioner can certify them for medical cannabis, and that's just not the case. According to state law, a medical practitioner must first take an eight-hour course and get certified by the Mississippi Health Department. Only then can they issue a written certification to a patient who wants a cannabis card. Another big drawback is cost. I'm getting a lot of emails from my patients who are saying that the prices are really just too high for them to afford. Patients like Joshua G. G was diagnosed with PTSD years after serving in the Iraq war. I mean, I have three different types of insurance and I still have to pay out of pocket. Neither private insurance nor Medicaid or Medicare will pay for medical cannabis. Calhoun says dispensaries are charging anywhere from $35 to $65 for a single unit. So, you know, when we break this down, we're looking at on the, you know, the higher end, that's $30 a day for a person to use medical cannabis, which, you know, that comes up to over $1,500 a month. And that's absurd. I mean, it. we're talking about people with disabilities that are so uh, detrimental to their daily life and the bad things they may experience. They, they can't work. So I, I honestly don't know how people are going to be able to afford it at that price. Calhoun worries desperate patients who can't afford legal cannabis could go to the street looking for illicit marijuana. And that could be a big health risk. So I'm going to encourage our dispensaries and our brands to please let's work together to find a way to lower the price for our patients. Reported in Jackson, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News. <laughs> 